everybody I uh, would have liked to show you my setup last night but I didn't get in till dark and it was too uh, too late to do any video so this is kind of the area I stayed in it was a nice little uh, lucky hammock campsite nice little side of the road or side of the uh, trail campsite I had a pretty good night's sleep and woke up very early I've gone ahead and packed myself up and going to get on the on the trail early this morning. The sun is just coming up, so uh, it's an early start. It's right at uh, a little bit before 7. So more to come on this uh, what looks to be a beautiful day here on the Oceans to Lake Trail. So here we go. All right, so here's the reason for my orange shirt, a part of the reason. So I got him a nice deer stand there. And I am not a deer, so. But it's not deer season right now, so nobody's up in it. Plus, it's the sun's been up for 30 minutes or so. But good to know that I uh, got myself protected. Oh, and by the way, in my last uh, little clip, I said that I was at Lucky something. I'm, I was actually at Little Gopher Campsite, which was about. 18 and a half miles in. So I got 18 and a half the first day. Got a couple of choices today. I'm going to try to shoot for 20, but we'll see how I feel. And that uh, knee deep water definitely tires you out. So if I get into a lot of that, I might pull up short. All right, more later. All right, so this is the first out here on the Oceans to Lake Trail. This is an actual bridge. I have had to swamp stomp through every other body of water. I'm surprised they didn't make us swim across this one. Just kidding. But holy cow, a bridge. Awesome. It's a little shaky though. <laughs> kind of like a roller coaster ride there. I haven't been able to do much video this morning because I'm walking east and the sun is coming up, so it is just blaring in my eyes. So, I'll get more video later. Got planned on telling you actually what I'm doing out here. And I'll do that as the day goes on a little bit. Other than just basic training and having fun. Not sure if the camera's going to pick this up, but that's a spider web there. Right in the middle of the trail. The lady did a beautiful job building that web. But let's see if I can try to find a way under it so I don't mess up her <coughs> mess up her work. <coughs> oh, Alright, sorry, just trucking along here. Alright, so that is appropriate. That's the trail. That's my feet. Only ankle deep now. Alright, trucking along. Everybody, I dare pull my phone out at this time, but we are now at knee deep, swamping through the uh, cypress trees. And I am not going to put my phone out for too long because if this goes in the water, I buy phone. So, it's a beautiful sight in here. But it is slow going. All right, PT out. Yep, that is the trail. So part of this is some pond walking. I don't see any, it's orange blazes out here. And I don't see any orange blazes over there on the other side, but there is kind of a path through here. And there is a, uh, a uh, beach over there, so. You can see I'm uh, knee deep in it. But the water actually feels good. It's nice and cold. Gives the feet uh, a little relaxation. And 
around. Just trucking along. Hopefully there's an orange blaze over here or I have made a swampy mistake. All right. Yes, that is an orange blaze out there in the water. So, got another pond crossing it looks like. So here we go. All right, so here I am. Pushing hard on day two, and I am about to run into civilization. I haven't seen, I met a couple last night uh, as I was leaving the campsite. They had camped, I stayed, or talked to them for a couple of minutes, and that's the only two human beings I've seen in almost two days. And now I'm coming up on a railroad crossing, and I think that's the turnpike up there, so getting into the real world after day into day two all right that's a beautiful sight isn't it that's where I'm headed maybe get to watch the sunset from up there It'd be awesome beautiful end to day number two brutal day brutal day but this will be the <clears throat> beautiful end of it all right everybody has this beautiful sunsets behind me here. I'm gonna kind of explain what I'm doing out here on the Ocean to Lake Trail. Uh, first thing, you know, I heard about this a couple of years ago, being a Florida trail, and kind of put on my bucket list, and I said, you know what the heck, I'll uh, give it a shot uh, one day. Well, what I needed to do, training-wise, was get prepared. I'm just tearing, messing this all up. But uh, get prepared for the Pacific, uh, Pacific Crest Trail uh, hike. So what I've done is I've got my new backpack. And when I say new backpack, I'm going to carry my uh, ZPAX Arc Blast on with me on the uh, on the first 700 miles, and then you got to carry a bear canister through the Sierra. So I got me a Osprey Exos 58, which I've been lugging on this trip and I'm also carrying the bear canister so I've got my Sierra setup obviously with some some changes for this trail <clears throat> the uh, the clothing obviously I've got different clothing I'm not I don't have an ice axe with me out here or micro spikes or anything like that but you know I got a lot of heavy gear out here so I'm lumping this stuff up this trail and uh, having a good time it is tough though because it's been a long time since I've pushed like I had the last two days. I I did 18 the first day and 20 today just to give myself a shorter last two days, a 15 tomorrow, and then I think it's going to be a, a, a 6 on my last day, and Hadassah will come pick me up on Hope Sound Beach. Ocean to Lakes Trail is a 63-mile trail. They say Ocean to Lakes, but everybody does it from lake to ocean. So you start at Lake Okeechobee, walk across half of the state till you get to Hope Sound Beach and you uh, end right there on the beach is where the trail ends and that'll be in two days for me so that's what I'm out here doing having a good time it's uh, very secluded hardly anybody out here I'm actually in a the Loxahatchee slough observation deck and I think I am going to cowboy camp up here and make this my my abode for the evening my other choice is to slap this stuff on and go another three miles, which uh, my body doesn't feel like it has three miles left in it. But I'm going to turn this around and we're going to watch a little bit more of this sunset. <laughs> 